हेलो गाइस अस्सलाम वालेकुम वेलकम टू आवर डॉट प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज कोर्स आई होप यू ऑल आर फाइन आवर प्रीवियस ट्यूटोरियल वाज अबाउट एनम नो इन टुडेस ट्यूटोरियल वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस व्हाट इज एब्स्ट्रैक्शन एब्स्ट्रैक्शन इज द फीचर ऑफ ओप वी ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड डिफरेंट फीचर्स ऑफ ओप क्लास ऑब्जेक्ट इनकैप्सुलेशन इनहेरिटेंस पॉलीमॉर्फिज्म बट एब्स्ट्रैक्शन इज द लास्ट फीचर ऑफ द ओप यू कैन से इट फीचर ऑफ ओप or pillars of oop so let us see what is abstraction abstraction in dart refers to the concept of hiding implementation details and exposing only the necessary features or functionalities of an object or class it allows developers to create interfaces or abstract classes that define a set of methods and properties without providing the actual implementation In Dart, abstraction is achieved through abstract classes and interfaces. Now, first of all, we will see uh, abstract classes. An abstract class is a class that cannot be instantiated directly. It serves as a blueprint for other classes to inherit from. Abstract classes can have abstract methods, methods without implementation, and concrete methods, methods with implementation. sub classes must provide implementations for all abstract methods now let me open vs code and show you what is abstraction so first of all here let me create an abstract class abstract here we will use keyword abstract you can see it is giving hint abstract class here for example this class is person class like this so this is person class and let me create a child class its child class uh, student like this and extends person like this for example our person class has some abstract methods abstract methods are the methods or functions that don't have a body without body functions are called abstract functions for example uh, can run this is a function and another function can eat like this now you can see our student class is uh, showing error because uh, both functions are don't have any body so its child class must uh, define the body of both functions here uh, you can see if you hover it you can see it is showing error missing concrete implementation of person can eat and person can run try implementing the missing methods or make the class abstract now here we need to define uh, both methods inside our student class now we need to override these both methods inside our uh, student class here let me create uh, use annotation override and here let me create a function uh, can run like this same like this uh, let me create uh, for can eat over right white can eat like this now you can see error has been removed and here we can uh, print some statements uh, can run and here print can eat like this now here uh, if i create object of my student class student and i can call that functions student dot can run and can eat dot can eat like this now let me run the program now you can see it is working perfectly so this is the use of abstract class so keep in mind we cannot create uh, object of our uh, abstract class here if i try to create let me remove here if i try to create object of person class uh, like this here you can see it is showing error abstract classes cannot be instantiated try creating an interface of a concrete subtype so we cannot create object of class abstract
so the abstract class can have uh, abstract methods or concrete methods you can see uh, these both are abstract methods abstract means without implementation without body these two functions or methods are without body so these are called abstract methods for example uh, there is a function here it is it has a body print person can eat now this function is called concrete method or concrete function because it has a body now we don't need to override this function we can remove it you can see it there is no error so this is not necessary to provide implementation for uh, can eat function because this is concrete method so we only need to provide implementation for our uh, abstract methods now here uh, we can again create object of student like this now we can call our uh, both functions can eat and uh, can run let me uh, call can eat function now it will print person can eat now if you want to override our can eat function you can override it here override white can eat like this here we can print student can eat now if i run it again it will call student can eat you can see here so this is the use of abstract class now let me show you what is uh, interface interfaces in dart are similar to abstract classes but can only contain methods signatures no implementation classes can implement multiple interfaces allowing them to define specific behaviors without inheriting a common implementation let me open vs code and show you practically now here let me use same abstract class person and here let me remove this student class again i will create it here for example i have a class student student now here instead of using extends keyword i will use implement keyword you can see implements here i can implement person like this now this time our person class is called interface you can say it interface so in some other programming languages interfaces has a special keyword there is a special keyword to define interface but in dart language there is no special keyword to define interfaces we can define interfaces with abstract keyword or without abstract keyword you can use both classes abstract classes are without abstract there is no uh, restriction so in this case we are using abstract class so here for example uh, there is a method uh, same method uh, can walk and there is also another method uh, can eat same method here you can see our student class is showing error if you want to quick fix here if you click here it will automatically create override methods here you can see automatically created uh, our override methods now here we can uh, define implementation for example here let me create student can eat and here let me print student can uh, walk like this now here if i create uh, object of student class and here student dot can eat i can call both functions uh, student uh, can walk if i run it here you can see it is working perfectly let me show you another example here for example there is a abstract class abstract class uh, bank this is a uh, class bank and here for example there are methods uh, deposit and uh, withdraw 
like this so here i can create class for example my bank name is uh, hpl i can implement uh, bank like this now uh, you can see it is showing error because our uh, bank class has two abstract methods we need to define that methods inside child here if you hover it click quick fix create two missing overrides you can see it created both methods here we can provide implementation uh, print uh, deposit done like this and here print withdraw done like this here i can create uh, object of our hbl class uh, hbl like this and i can call hbl dot deposit you will see it will print deposit done you can see here same like this i can create another uh, class here uh, class mcb uh, implements bank like this if, if you hover it you can see it is showing error again same like above we can quick fix it by clicking quick fix uh, create two missing parameters like this same like this uh, we can print some statement print deposit done and here print withdraw done now same like hpl here i can create uh, object of mcb 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 like this here i can call mcb dot uh, withdraw now if i click run you can see here it is working so this is the way uh, we can create our uh, interface and we can use it in our uh, program so i know you have a question in your mind what is the difference between implements and extends keyword so why we use implements and why we use extends now i am going to explain the difference between implements and extends let me show you with another example let me remove it let me create two abstract classes uh, first class is abstract class uh, rectangle this is our rectangle class and another class abstract class uh, square there are two abstract classes now here uh, for example i have another class class uh, name it as my shape if i use extends keyword here and here a rectangle and i want to extend both classes rectangle and square if i try to extend both you can see there is error we cannot do that with extend you can see here so here we cannot extend two classes but in case of implements let me show you if i use here implements keyword now you can see error removed it means we can implement more than one classes by using implements we can implement multiple interfaces inside our single class here let me create functions here for example i have function height like this and in square for example there is a function uh, width like this now we can access we can override both methods of both classes inside our single class click quick fix here you can see uh, we have both methods or functions inside our uh, my shape class you can see our height uh, function belongs to rectangle class rectangle class or interface and our width function or method belongs to our square class or interface so this is the benefit of interface by using implements keyword we can implement more than one classes or interfaces in a single class so this is first difference now let me show you another difference first of all let me use extends keyword here 
excellence now here let me create constructor in both classes in parent and child here let me create rectangle and here let me print rectangle class like this and inside my shape class let me create its uh, constructor my shape and inside let me print uh, my shape class like this now here uh, if i create object of class my shape like this here uh, let me run it you can see here first of all it is printing a rectangle class then it is printing my shape class it means when we create object of child first of all its parent uh, constructor called and after that uh, its own constructor called so keep in mind in case of extends when we create object of a class a child class first of all its parent constructor called then its own constructor called right so by using uh, extends keyword now let me try same thing by using implements keyword uh, by using interface implements now in case of implements let me test it what happens if i run it now you can you can see here in case of implements or interface parent does not call parent constructor does not call you can see it is only printing my shape class i hope you got it what is the difference between implements and extends in case of extends when we create object of a child class so first of all its parent constructor called but in case of implements or interface the parent constructor does not called so this was the second difference now let me show you another uh, difference let me remove constructors first of all let me show you with extends keyword extends here now for example uh, here there is a function get height like this and uh, it has uh, for example height of rectangle this is the function now let me create same function here with same name uh, get height and here let me print height of uh, my shape like this you can see here uh, we have two functions in both classes with same name now here you can see i have object of my shape now here if i call my shape dot get height now which function will call let me try this you can see it is calling height of my shape it means it is calling this function right this is not calling get height function now if we need to call uh, get height function of its parent we can use super keyword you all know super keyword dot get height now this time it will call uh, get height function of its parent right if i uh, run it again you can see here it is calling height of rectangle and height of my shape so this was in case of extends now let me use it here uh, implements keyword implements like this now you can see we cannot call that the method get height is always abstract in the super type now it means we cannot use super keyword in case of implements in case of interface if i call it you can see it is working height of my shape now we cannot use super keyword in case of implement if we try super keyword dot you can see there is uh, no function here we cannot call get height if you write get height and try to run it is showing error you can see we cannot call that
so this is the difference between uh, extends and implements so i hope you understand uh, what is abstraction what is abstract class and what are interfaces uh, why we use keyword uh, implements and extends what is the difference between uh, uh, extends and implements keyword so if you have any question in your mind you can ask in comment box or you can contact me directly on whatsapp okay good luck